What's going on YouTube? Elsa ST out here this morning. I got a few questions on the channel as well as um, I said even just people sometimes in the community ask me and I think it'd be a good video to do. I know a lot of other people do it and that is answering one simple question. What do I do for a living and how do I afford my STI? Well, let's take a trip back in the time machine since we're stuck here in traffic. Um, I started out wanting to work in marketing. So what I ended up doing was I started enrolling in a local community college when I was 20 years old, taking one semester of marketing. Did that, liked it. The problem was I got like 106% in three out of my five classes. So like I was doing too well. So my professor suggested I transfer to the University of Wisconsin, where I'm originally from was Wisconsin. I did that and I started in a marketing and business education program at the University of Wisconsin. The problem with that was you had to become a teacher, a high school teacher, in that program to get your degree. I didn't want to be a high school teacher. So when I got to that program, I did that for a semester and essentially had about a year's worth of credits in the marketing and business area but I knew I didn't want to continue with that degree. So I went to another program on campus called Information and Communication Technologies. It was a brand new degree at the time. This is like back in 2007. My boy Byron. I talked to Byron, the program director, and I said, look, I like a lot of the elements of your program in this ICT degree, but I really think you're missing the boat by not having stuff having to do with social media in your degree. I think that's a real opportunity for you. Um, it was mostly focused on IT networking type stuff and some other kind of communication models, but not social media. So I begged him and begged him and begged him. So I took a lot of different stuff, psychology, sociology, marketing, business, multimedia, writing. I kind of made this cross disciplinary degree that I believe was gonna give me the tools needed to be successful working in technology and specifically digital and social media. And I was right. So when I was in school, social media continued to blow up. I got invited to speak at a bunch of national conferences. I had research featured in different books on social media. Uh, it was really great for me. That then led into getting consulting gigs, working with companies from you know 200 employee size companies down to a two person size company, uh, small businesses throughout Wisconsin. I did that for a while. Wasn't really my thing didn't I mean it was it was good but it was also bad there's pros and cons on both sides but eventually I wanted to get out of Wisconsin so then what I did was I started putting in applications in different parts of the country in which I thought would be great that I wanted to live in uh, one of one one of which excuse me was Colorado and now this was back in like 20 was it 2012 yeah, 2012. I got accepted into working in a large healthcare system in Colorado Springs, Colorado, um, where I was the first social media manager that had ever been hired by this company. Um, did that for about two years, and we had a lot of great success. It was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed my time working in Colorado Springs. You can't beat viewing Pikes Peak every single day when you get up and drive to work in the morning. But I said, so after that, um, I kind of got lured away and ended up working now where I do, which is the University of Colorado Denver and the University of Colorado Anschutz Medical Campus where I oversee social media on both campuses. So when people ask me what I do, I'm like, well, you know, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, um, it's kind of what I do every single day for work. So it, it's a pretty fun job. I mean, there's definitely, again, pros and cons. Um, but overall, it's a really great job. It's really fun. I said a lot of days doesn't feel like work. Um, and I get to do a lot of fun, creative stuff. The thing for me was when I was working in the marketing area in terms of before I went to school and then taking marketing in my first you know, year in college, I, I loved marketing. I loved understanding why people made purchasing decisions, uh, their behavior and making decisions on where to go to school, when to buy things, what car to buy. It really intrigued me. But then the other piece of that that I finally was able to put together when I got to the University of Wisconsin was, I wanna merge that love of trying to understand that human behavior in marketing, but also merging it with technology, which I also really love. So it was kind of that perfect fit of digital marketing that really helped kind of propel my career at that point. So not only do I manage social media for the University of Colorado Denver and Anschutz Medical Campus, I'm also a lecturer, so I'm on the faculty. So I teach undergraduates at the University of Colorado Denver social media. Um, so that keeps me really busy after hours, which is sometimes why I can't get to doing more videos. Like I wish I could, um, because I said I got all day work going on with my staff job and then after hours I'm worried about you know grading papers answering emails setting up classes so teaching definitely keeps me really really busy so that's kind of it for me in terms of what I do how I afford my STI you know I said it's working on social media it's 
teaching social media as a lecturer at the University of Colorado. Um, and I said, occasionally, I get begged to do some very minor consulting um, by friends still from my former consulting life. So um, that's kind of how I afford my STI. A lot of people out there that are you know 19 years old buying an STI, I said, props to them for doing that. But believe me, I wanted an STI since 2004. Like when that one came out, that was the one that hooked me in to the STI and Subaru. And I always said from the time I was 16 years old and I'm almost 30 now, I'm gonna have an STI someday. And believe me, like I've wanted it for years. I've been watching YouTube contents, going through forms for a long, 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 long time. And so finally last summer, I was in a place in my life where I could make you know, a smart financial decision and afford the car, afford everything I was gonna to wanna to do with it, stuff like that. So I definitely waited a long time to finally buy the car that I've always wanted um, and it was well worth the wait. And to be in a place in life where it's not gonna be like I'm eating ramen noodles to, you know, afford my car payment or afford parts for the car, um, things like that. So um, it was definitely worth the wait. So I said, stay in school, get a good job, straighten out your finances um, and then looking at getting all your fun toys. That's the best advice I can give to people. But again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found that enjoyable. If you haven't, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you again next time.